Warm welcome everybody to the Principles of Management online session. Today we will be dealing with staffing and related HRD functions. Staffing. Staffing is the process of filling position in the organization with adequate and qualified personnel. Staffing is the process of acquiring, deploying and retaining a workforce of sufficient quality and quantity to create positive impacts on the organization's effectiveness. As you all know, staffing is the process of hiring eligible candidates who are needed for the specific position that are vacant in an organization. Filling and keeping filled the positions in an organization keeps it moving. According to Kunz, O'Donnell and Haynes, the management function of staffing is defined as filling positions in an organization structure through identifying workforce requirements, inventorying the people's available, recruitment, selection, placement, promotion, appraisal, compensation and training of needed people. Empowerment Empowerment refers to the delegation of some authority and responsibility to employees and involving them in the decision-making process, not in mere job activities, but rather at the levels of management. It is the authority given to someone to do something, to a, a, speci uh, to do a specific task which is allotted or delegated to them. Delegation Delegation is the assignment of any authority to another person from the senior level managers or top officials to subordinates to carry out a specific activity which in turn will lead to the accomplishment of organizational goals. Importance of delegation, effective management, employees development, motivation of employees, better coordination, efficiency. Effective management. In the delegation process, managers pass routine work to the subordinates so they are free to concentrate on other important matters. Employees development. As a result of delegation, employees get more opportunities to utilize their talents. It allows them to develop those skills which help them to perform complex tasks. Motivation of employees. Responsibility and authority is divided and employees are made answerable for non-completion of their tasks. Efficiency. Delegation improves efficiency when it allows work to be transferred to people whose skills are better match matched for the work. Centralization is said to be a process where the concentration of decision-making power rests in, rest in the hands of few. All the important decisions and actions at the lower level are taken by the top level management or it needs approval of the top top level management for its implementation according to allen centralization is a systematic and consistent reservation of authority at central points in the organization decentralization decentralization refers to the distribution of power at every level of management. It is a systematic delegation of authority and in, this, in a decentralized concern, authority in, is retained by the top level management for taking major decisions and framing policies, while rest of the authority is delegated to the middle level and lower level management. It is suitable for large organizations and manager ha managers have more freedom of actions. Recentralization of employees. Recentralization, centralization, and decentralization depend on many factors. So, the degree of centralization and decentralization also changes with situation. It should not be supposed that authority, once decentralized, is decentralized forever. Because when we decentralize the authority, sometimes it may not work for a certain organization. So, they may restructure the organization and bring back to a central bring back decentralization to centralization if the situations demand so the top management may hold back the power of authority and that is called 
Decentralization of Employees Organizational Culture Organizational culture refers to the beliefs and values that have existed in an organization for a long time. Administrators using, usually adjust their leadership behavior to accomplish the mission of the organization and this could influence the employee's job satisfaction. It is therefore essential to understand the relationship between organization culture, leadership and job satisfaction of employees. Responsiveness in an organization is the ability to identify and effectively adapt to the continuous change in the industry. Companies who effectively adapt to the change are better able to manage disruption and consistently meet their customers' expectations. Manager Inventory Chart MIC gives an overview of human resource situations of an organization. It shows the future internal supply of managers by indicating who is promotable in, the year, in an year. It shows the position to which a manager may be promoted. Managers who are ready for promotion can, promotions can be easily identified through manager inventory job. Job design is the process of work arrangement or rearrangement aimed at reducing or overcoming job dissatisfaction and employee alienation arising from repetitive and mechanistic tasks. Job design is further divided into job simplification. That is, it is a design method whereby jobs are divided into smaller components and subsequently assigned to work as a whole jobs. Then job rotation. It is the systematic movement of employees from one job to another within the organization to achieve various human resource objectives. Job enrichment. It is the common motivational technique used by organizations to give an employee greater satisfaction in the work. Job enlargement. It is, a, it is an increase in job tasks and responsibilities to make a position more challenging. Job analysis. Job analysis is a process of identifying and determining in detail the particular job duties and requirements Job analysis is a process where judgments are made about the de about data collected on a job. Job analysis is further subdivided into job description and specification. Job description is any document that describes the tasks, duties and responsibilities that pertains to a certain positions position in an organization. It specifies the functionary to whom position reports spe specifications such as qualification and skills needed by the person in the job and the salary range. Job specification. Job specification refers to the human qualities requ required for performing the job. Job evaluation. It is a systematic way of determining the value or worth of a job in relation to other jobs in the organization. Various job evaluation methods are point method, where numerical values are assigned to specific job components. Sum of values provides quantitative assessment of jobs worth. Job ranking. Raters examine job description and arrange jobs according to the value of value to the company. Job classification. Classes or grades are defined to describe a group of jobs. Selection is the process of selecting or choosing qualified person which, who can successfully do a specific job or who can deliver valuable contributions to an organization. A selection system should depend on job analysis. Selection process include preliminary interview, receiving applications, filling of applications, employment test, employment interview, checking references, physical examination and final placement. Placement is the process of assigning specific job to the each of selected candidates which involves assigning a specific rank and responsibility to the employee. 
Orientation means it's a process of providing new employees with basic information about the employer. Training programs are used to ensure that new employees has the basic requirement to perform the job in a better way. Training and development. Training and development is a subsystem of an organization. Training is an educational process which involves sharpening of skills, concepts, and changing attitude of employees to enhance their performances. The aim of training and development is to help the organization achieve its purpose by adding value to its resource, the people it employs. Training means investing in the people to enable them to perform better and to empower them to make the best use of their natural abilities. Thank you.